Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic. Now, this is a car that I designed to drive on bombs. And as you can see, it kind of works a little bit. But uh, if you saw the episode where I built this car, you may know that uh, it's not the best at doing it and often there are some issues with the bombs kind of op uh, having timing issues and the wheels falling in between and things like that and then sometimes yeah explosions happen and we go flying into the air. Now, if you missed the first episode where I uh, actually built this from scratch, definitely go check that out before this because we are picking up where we left off using the advice from you guys in the comments to make this thing finally capable of driving on bombs in a much more, hopefully much more reliable and um, impressive fashion. So there were two major bits of advice that I think are going to be crucial in improving and perfecting this concept. And they address both of the major problems that this thing has. The first problem is timing. And I don't know why I didn't think of either of these, probably just because I didn't have a whole lot of extra time to go and uh, problem solve. But the first problem we have is the timing of the bomb spawners. As the vehicle starts going across the bombs and the bomb starts shifting underneath its weight, it slows down and varies the speed of the vehicle, making the bomb timing sequence no longer a safe, reliable spacing in between the bombs. Sometimes Sometimes they blow each other up. The other issue is as the bombs shift underneath the wheels, they kind of open up and create gaps for the wheels to fall into. And fortunately, you guys have offered solutions to both of these problems. The solution I'm going to attempt for the bomb timing is to use sensors that actually trigger the bomb spawners. So the bombs will only spawn when there is enough space. And the big benefit to that is each lane will be independently controlled by each sensor. So they're not going to have to spawn simultaneously. They're just going to spawn when they need to and the solution to the wheels falling through is um, add more wheels in between so we're gonna have more of a tank style wheel setup rather than these this huge gap in between here so now the question is how are these spaced are these spaced oh yeah yeah we can add a couple more wheels on here Okay, so I've added the wheels. I have not added the sensors yet because I just want to see how much more effective it is with the wheels by themselves, not using the sensor timers. So my button is not connected to these things yet because I- Oh no, I did the thing again! And I forgot to save the creation too. You know what? No, no, no. This is no problem. This is no problem. All I gotta do is spawn in another one. Yep, and then I can just attach the pieces that I need onto it. See, watch. Watch how clever this is. I just gotta detach that. And then I can just weld this right there. And then I have to just detach that. And then I can weld this right there and look at that we're all set up to go again i just gotta rewire these back up when the switch isn't on put the steering back put the engine back and we're good to go we're all good we did it and now i'm gonna actually save this with the new wheel setup so now it doesn't matter if i explode or make any mistakes oh man i am so stupid sometimes Okay, so now, let's see how these wheels do as far as our- Oh, well, actually, it keeps our speed so much more consistent. This is already so much better. Oh, that pipe's gonna get in the way. Oh, hold on. Alright, there we go. This is amazing. Huge improve- Look at the pipe rolling. Oh, it, it's messing us up. Well, we're gonna see how our wheels do now. This is awesome. So I do have to do a little bit of manual control with the button and slow it down sometimes because they do get a little bit too close. Like, all right, now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it go on its own. I'm not gonna do any manually controlling yet, but we've already broken our best record from our last video by far. Wow, this is actually working. Like the sensors aren't even that huge of a, oh no, now we're lagging. Oh no, look at how many bombs there are. Oh, now we're done. Now we're done. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, wow, that was awesome. Our entire vehicle is like gone. Oh, this is great. I think the sensors are really going to be like the last thing. But I'm gonna make some modifications because the sensors are going to allow much more freedom. Because right now I think I have the bomb spawning the short way. Yeah, like that. 
I think I might want to do the long way again because I think that's going to be more efficient on distance. You know, if they're spawning the long way, we'll be able to go a farther distance with less bombs. So yeah, I'm going to make some modifications. We're going to add the sensors. We're going to make the bomb spawn the long way. And then I hope we're going to have an awesome creation that can just go a long distance on bombs. Turning, I don't think is going to happen, but we're going to try it anyway. Can this thing even turn? Actually, that is pretty subtle. That that could work. That That has potential. I don't know, though. We'll try it. All right, I'm gonna get building. I'll see you guys in a second. But it's really gonna probably be like 30 minutes for me, but you know what? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've built the system for this to work. So this should spawn bombs only when these sensors are not detecting something and when the button is, uh, this button is pressed. So we should not have bombs spawning into each other, but I do have to fine tune. I don't know if four blocks is the appropriate distance here. So I am gonna have to fine tune that with some testing right about now. All right, so first bomb has been spawned in. You can see that the logic gates on top have turned off, which means that no more bombs should spawn in. Now I have the switch off, so it's not gonna spawn the bombs in. I just wanna see at what distance these are going to, there we go. So now is that enough room? Ooh, barely. All right, you know what, switch is on. Let's just test it out. Actually, that is working very well. Now, even if I slow down, look at how perfect that is. And see, now the, both sides got kind of off kilter from each other. Why is this so much laggier though? This is a lot laggier than it was before. But both sides got off kilter from each other, but despite that, you can see they're independently operating. I just don't know why this is so much more laggy. Is it just because of the extra systems I added onto the vehicle? It doesn't make any sense to me. Because there's way less bombs, right? This is so laggy. Oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Okay, so I don't know if it's the change in orientation of the bombs that for some some reason would make them more laggy for this vehicle or if it's something else. I should actually be able to turn the switch on now and it's detecting the platform so it won't let me spawn the bomb in until we're far enough away from the platform. Every, wait, are these? Are you kidding me? Did I really? These are two different <laughs> lengths. These arms are not the same length. Ah, oh, man. All right, well, it's an easy fix. That just means I have to do some rewiring. I can't believe I overlooked that. Oh, di <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now they are aligned. We can hook the switch back up. We can hook the sensor back up. And I hope this is going to all work. Okay, here we go. So the switch is on. They should automatically spawn in as I drive forward now. Perfect. Why are they still getting offline from each other? Eh, it's fine. It's just the, the variances in how they spawn in, I guess. So far, ooh, ooh. They, it's so much laggy, so much quicker. Why is it so much more laggy this quick? Is it the sensors? Like, because the sensors have to detect the bombs, does it make them, does it make it lag more? Cause it's like more physics detection? I don't know. I don't know why this went, like before we got so much farther without any issues. I'm gonna test out the other orientation. We're gonna see if we can get this to be a little bit more lag free. And uh, I'm just gonna explode this one because it's fun. There we go. Any second now. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> okay, so here is the previous version where I added the wheels, but not the sensors. So take a look at how much farther this one is going to be able to go without lag. So all I'm going to do is modify this so that it adds the sensor mechanism to what it already has rather than reorienting the bombs. And we're going to see if it changes the lag because then we will have confirmation that it's not the wheels or the vehicle. It's just the sensor mechanism for whatever reason. Like, see, I feel like there's a lot more bombs spawned in and we're going a lot farther on this. Oh, now it's starting to lag. Oh, and now it's now it's picking up again. These bombs seem much more capable of settling in for whatever reason. No, I got, I think I got it. I think, 
I think my bombs are being spawned in too close, maybe. There, let's get rid of this one. Perfect. I'm gonna make one small adjustment on this that might save us. I'm gonna go uh, distance five on the sensors and maybe with the bombs being one extra block distance from each other, that'll decrease the lag. You know, the other issue could just be there's a lot more debris in the world, so that might be affecting things too. All right, well, let's see how this goes. Yeah, see, there's like a one block gap in between them now. I'm hoping that's gonna help us and not hurt us. Things are looking good so far. Yeah, the lag is so much better right now. Because it was lagging about this point before, wasn't it? This is awesome. This is actually... Like... This is the best version of this vehicle that we have right now. Like, I don't see any failure point until the leg gets too much. I don't see any way that this is going to fail right now. If the leg gets too much or when we hit some of these blocks up here, that's the only issue I'm going to see. But I'm going to take this thing as far as it's going to let me go until the frames either get too bad, I explode, or I reach a point where I just can't go anymore. And then we're going to try turning. But first, I just want to see what's the furthest record we can get. Uh oh, here's here's the first trouble spot. <gasps> oh, no, we passed it. That little wedge I thought was going to mess us up, but we're clear now. We are clear to just keep going. I think we're going to make it next to the landing pad and we're just going to keep going until it starts. The, the hill starts to uh, tilt up on the left side there. All right. Well, I'm probably going to just fast forward uh, through this part. So let's get over there. All right, guys, we are approaching, like, we're actually not really going to hit the hill that much. And we're going to keep going. And look at this track of bombs. I cannot believe that all we needed to do to solve the lag issue was just that single block difference. Oh, actually, things are getting a little bit sketchy here. Oh, the slight, you can see the slight variance in the flatness of the ground is actually affecting us now. I'm actually a little bit concerned about this one. Okay, we're still on though. We are still on. This is still somehow working. I cannot believe there's no lag with all of these bombs on the map right now. They're all loose objects too, by the way. So right now, our wheels, the, our tank wheels are saving us right now so well. Look at this. Oh, oh, that we might be done. We're done. We're done. Oh, no. Oh, there it goes. There, it's just a black thing of smoke just traveling down the field all the way back. I cannot believe the distance we got on that. That was actually amazing. All right, now we have the bigger question. If I turn, does it work? I don't think it's going to work, but we, I really want to find out. And then there's one more thing I want to try too. I want to try increasing the engine speed by one and seeing if we can make this thing go slightly faster. Um, but I don't know if the bomb spawner speed is actually going to be able to keep up. Okay, so I'm going to let us get on the bombs first. Yep, there we go. And now I'll start turning, but I really don't think it's going to work. I guess I'll turn to the left. Uh, no. Nope, that just doesn't work. All right, I'm going to try this one more time. Um, I think it's just there's distance between the bomb spawners and the wheels. So, like, there's just no real way for it to align. Like, see, we're, we're turning off of the already straight line. The bomb spawners are not going to turn with us. I think, oh. I think the only way to really do it, which would be really, really tedious, is to put the bomb spawners also on some type of turning mechanism, but they would have to be on a controller that is less of a degree of turning angle than the steering bearings would be. And that would be very, that would be very, very time consuming, which I don't have time for right now, but it's totally possible, I think. I don't know. Okay, so the last thing I want to try now is let's see if we can make this thing go faster and what's the limit going to be if we're not already at it. 
All right, so each engine goes up by one, which essentially like doubles the speed. Like, look at how much faster that is. That is so much faster. All right, here we go. Oh no, no way! This is gonna, this is not gonna be sustainable. This is not sustainable. <laughs> is it? Is it actually gonna be sustainable? This is ridiculous. Oh no, no, no! We're done. We're done, and we're done. Yep. Oh, there it goes. Nope, it's all done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this version right here is the best version that this can be without turning, just in a straight line. It pretty much will literally go on flat ground as long as the game will let it go, as far as like lag or any inconsistencies goes. Even with inconsistencies, it's pretty self-correcting with the sensors. So thanks a lot to your guys' feedback with the wheels and the sensors just made this thing absolutely perfect. Do you guys have any other crazy ideas like this that you'd like to see me try to do in Scrap Mechanic? If so, leave a comment down below. And again, if you missed the first episode where I was trying to build this thing for the first time, that was filled with a lot more failure than this episode was. And uh, it, it little, might, be, might be pretty funny to watch if you haven't seen it yet. So go ahead and check that out right here on the end screen. And uh, I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.